Trini. Hello, Jemima. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? So well, because I'm so excited by the closet confession we're doing today, because it's all about the essentialness of the crystal top, the crystal mesh top. Now, for many of you, you might think, what? If you saw one of our takeover shows when we had this beautiful pink suit for her and she didn't want to wear it and she didn't want to show her decollete and we put this white crystal top underneath and it transformed the outfit and it gave me the inspiration. I then bought that top, we were in Zara at the time, and it got me on that mode. And then all I saw when I went into a shop were these. Mm. So I can see you've got quite a collection. I've got quite a collection because I've actually bought some for you. So you can just see where they go come from, where you can get them from, what you can do with them. But they're gonna switch out your current wardrobe and make it more interesting. They're going to give a length or a shortness to something where you need it because they just add that extra bit of detail. They're all an alternative to jewelry. They work really well when you're thinking, is that too much of a decollete? Can I wear that with nothing underneath? And instead, this is your second skin with some shimmer. So you've got shoulder pads underneath. I have, so this one, is from Free People. Okay. I got it when I was with Lila. We were shopping for the girls and I saw it and I fell in love. Now, the most important thing with these is the finish because I like the finish here. The neckline is slightly open, but not too much. Yeah. There is no trim here. Sometimes that can make it look cheap. I'm gonna show you one in a minute. When you get these, this is one I've already done, but they'll come with lots of labels everywhere and I like to take the labels out. This is a new one from Zara and there'll be the label here and I always take all the labels out because you can kind of see everything. So they've just done this one in black. I do like it, it's the same neckline as the one I'm wearing. Mine is sort of more of a gray and there's just, it's just been cut here, the fabric, so there's no hemming and I actually mm -hmm. like that. So I think that's great, it's quite shortcut. So what can you do if they're shortcut? I'm gonna show you. Okay. How worry. much are the Zara ones, Trini? The Zara ones are 35 pounds. Okay. This weekend I was in Madrid and I found this one and I love this because it's just a beautiful metallic gray. And this one was originally like 300 pounds and I got it for 85, it was a sort of 70% off sale. And I adored that. And then I couldn't decide between that, the Ganny one, which I had seen originally way too expensively priced, but it was 70% off as well. So I got both and it might seem crazy, but for me, these are so essential. This one has a different, it has a finish at the top, it has a fluted sleeve. Oh, yeah. And it's got a hem. We're going to have a look at all of them. Yeah, let's try them on. One can also look at dresses. This is mm -hmm. from Zara. I got that this weekend in Madrid as well. I'm going to think, how can I wear that? I saw this summer lots of women on the beach wore net things over when you just wanted that, you wanted a filter on your body, but mm -hmm. you wanted to be breathable. There's more aeration than there is coverage and yet you don't feel totally exposed when you wear it. I love how it looks from far away. It's just sparkling and gorgeous. This one is from Zara. This is the original one that gave me the inspiration. And this is the one that Tracy wore. And I'm going to show you that on as well. Then we've got more, you know, covered sequins, but that is a covered sequin top, but yeah. still very sheer Jemima. It's the sheerness that's interesting here. And this is Joey, the label, which is a brilliant Australian brand. They do a ton of sequins. First up, mm -hmm. my mesh top underneath, so you don't see the nips. And it feels like it's naked. So I think it's a very nice way to wear it because I think I'm used to seeing traditionally if these tops were on people with the black bra underneath and yeah. quite full on, and I don't know if I have that look. So I like it when it just feels neutral. You could have a neutral slip you can wear underneath of your skin tone. You could go to skims of just having that sort of bandeau yeah. or a, a, a new bra. Because it's quite rock and roll mm. that way. And this way is just a lot more elegant. Exactly. And if I wanted to wear this back, this, um, I don't know where. I'd never do this with nothing underneath because the, when the below bit of your boob says mm. hello, I think it's, that's when it's gone too far. Yeah. Um, or I, for me, I can't handle it because I think my boob will pop out. But this gives me just something while still having a sheerness that feels sexy. And in this instance, I would, if I was going to keep the jacket buttoned up, I'd probably not have that little net thing on underneath and okay. just go totally sheer. Yeah. What I've done is I've changed out four shorter black ones, trousers from Zara. My flares, is it top top Zara, I think Zara. Yeah. Because I saw Rita Ora this weekend wearing them, a flare black, and I thought, why not, I can do that. Now, the other thing I like is I could pull this up and have that lovely extra detail 
against the black. It's very uh, Annie Swain, isn't it? It's very <laughs> Annie Swain. For that reference, for those of you who don't know Annie Swain, she's a stylist I've worked with for years and she loves that pull up and layering and we're both obsessed with it together. So I don't know if the jacket goes perfectly well with trousers. It's quite nice of it actually. Yeah. Um, Trini, can I ask, is it uncomfortable because you're not wearing a bra? No, because I feel the netting holds in my boob. So Fine. I feel the safety net of the netting, it's not gonna poke. There's a little sexiness to it. Yes. So it's not too big a netting. No, it's not. Right. And I think if you're like, if Chloe was, Chloe would love this, we know that. <laughs> um, but if you have bigger boobs, you might want a bra underneath and stuff. But I, it's like, I don't need to wear any jewelry. No, you, you know? don't. Especially in the nighttime. Yeah. Really cool from afar. Yeah. From afar, thanks to my mother. No, but you know. Can you stay just there? <laughs> Even better at close, but I mean, from afar, you are like, oh my God, it's so cool. Yeah. Other ways you can do it, and I'm going to just do it now with a little tank top. But let's say you buy something and it is short like this. Oh, I'm so glad it's September and we're layering I'm again. So nice. And just that's such a nice, it's a little bit of extra detail to what would otherwise be a very plain, clean look. Yeah, especially if you're self-conscious about your arms. Exactly. Or even if you're not, so fun. Yeah, but if you are a bit self-conscious, sometimes we're self-conscious of just movement because maybe bat wings are kind of coming out. But this is... You're still naked to an extent, but it's like wearing spanks on your arms. That's what it is. Now, I mean, especially the Zara one in a small, because I feel, yes, I can bend, but I feel it's spanks like and I've got great arms. But I know many women who feel, oh, my arm, can I still wear sleeveless? And I go, yeah, just do it. Mm. Just do it. So I love this dress. Some of you might know that I wore it for Charles's daughter's wedding a few years ago, and I loved wearing it. And it's a dress that I think I want to have for life. Now, there might be a stage where I think, I feel good about my arms. I'm... I work out a lot, I tone them, but there's moments when I sometimes think that my skin, you know, sags a bit on my back, and I think some of us feel, how long can we do backless for, or how comfortable? And the alternative, Jemima, in the winter, what would you do? So at the back here, if something's feeling too tight mm. on the strap and things, let me just show it to you with the top underneath to change it out. Hey. Ooh. And now, you can see it when I put something underneath. I still wear this sleeveless. There are many women, I think, who maybe have a fantastic evening dress, which just shows off too much skin now to think they can wear it, but it's still brilliant. So this, if I was somewhere where, for example, I'm in a church, I'm at a glamorous wedding, but you can't be backless and sleeveless, great way to do it. If you do modesty dressing, you're showing skin, so I'm not sure it depends on your modesty levels, but it just shows how it's changed this dress. It's nearly made it another dress. And at the back here, where I might have it being a little bit too short, yeah. I'd probably get two safety pins and just put it in there. Okay. But you know, there might be a period of time where I think, can I still wear backless? So this is that safety net. Yeah, but also sometimes if I would go to a winter wedding, I'm like, oh, it feels a bit weird to be backless in the winter. That's true. It makes you think, yes, I will wear it. I could wear this in winter as a long sleeve dress and feel good at it. Yeah. So why did you choose that one? Was it the tone? Yeah, it was because it has slight warmth and it's got more golden tones. And that's why I sit in neutral. I don't know if you've been on to Trinity London yet, where you can go and get your colour matches when you do match to me and makeup you get the colors that suit you. So all the times we've been saying on the question, am I cool, cool, neutral, 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 or warm when we talk about color? It's there, so when I do color things next time and I say this is a, for cool tones, you're gonna go, that's my blue, that's my red, that's my pink. It's changed it. my life. Would you do makeup with this, Trini? I'd probably, I mean, I'd definitely do makeup with this and I'd probably do, uh, I mean, I won't do it now, but for this look, I'd do a lot of sun on my eye and I'd bring out that warmth. And I wouldn't do a strong lip, I'd do that sort of golden, kissed by that golden time, mm. you know, in the evening, glow cheekbones, candlelight cheekbones. I'd keep that whole etherealness going all the way down the outfit. Gorgeous. And then you don't really need jewellery, do you? No, this is the jewellery, definitely. If this is a suit, I haven't really worn that much. I'm sure I will wear it, but it's from me and Emma. I bought it last May and it started to get worn very quickly, so I didn't wear it. And it's a tweedy fabric. It's a little small um, herringbone mm -hmm. houndstooth and it's got yellow in it and black and oatmeal. So I've got an oatmeal sleeveless top with it. It's very nice. I will wear it this winter. The sleeve is a bit short. Let's say I'm wearing this of the day and I'm thinking I'm a bit washed out so I might come over here. So whenever I'm washed out, you know me, I'll go for a stronger colour. Definitely put on some Sweeney even to make the oatmeal work. Just to 
bring life. I tell you, it makes such a difference. It was rushing out a bit, and then there's a little, oh, is there a bit of sequin there? Is there a little bit of a, a little top poking out that I could, oh, oops, whoopsie, whoopsie, Where did whoopsie. that come from? So, you know, to up the ante on the daytime, I could do that a bit more. Just now, it's all looking a little bit more special and different from how it was for. In fact, these are much longer than I thought, these sleeves. So I can take them to there. Oh, is this the Zara one? This is the Zara one. But just that, the lip and that little bit of the crystal changed the outfit. Totally. Leaning into the warmth. I'm going warm here. Oh, I love body. this. Perfect. That shows you the little bit. But now I'm going out for dinner. So I don't want to get changed. So I'm going to slip off my jacket. And I'm going to take a little bit of a belt mm -hmm. from Zara. Just double rest my jacket there. And you've covered the button of the jacket? I've covered the button okay. of the jacket with that. Take it to the same level as the belt. And then I've got a really nice day to night moment. I could have gone to the office all day. Boxer mm, uncle. That lip is popping off. It's so <laughs> popping, isn't it? It works so well to just lift traditional outfits. Mm -hmm. When you wear belts over jackets, it's not so much that you should show an in and out of a waist. You don't have to. I, I kind of have no waist. This is more of a style moment. It just makes the jacket more interesting. This is something I want to capture as a direction I want to go. So when you are doing lots of tryouts in your cupboard and yeah. you get, you'll get to that magic moment where suddenly you're thinking, this is a look to me that I want to see again in the mirror and it will give you inspiration to just take a picture of it, put it in your cupboard. So when you're going and looking through your clothes again, because this was a suit that was downstairs I was hardly wearing, the belt I haven't worn for ages, uh, you know, not much brings something together. Well, this one yeah. is similar to the one that I did with Jonathan Van Ness with this. I had this skirt with a white t-shirt and it was really boring. And I thought I'm feeding Jonathan Van Ness. So I thrust on, the one that's just about to fall apart, which I can't find. So I'm gonna show you now what the whole outfit looked like. And imagine, first off, I had a white t-shirt and then that silver piece switched out the whole outfit. So this is Zara's new version, which I'm trying out. Now it's different because it has, it ends for me below the collarbone and I do not suit this as a neckline. When something makes your neck longer than your face, it makes your face look very long. My face looks much longer because you're just seeing this narrowness. You just think all of this is my neck. Once you get yeah. to here, you think it's going to be my chest as well. So for me, I kind of want it there. Oh, yeah. And then I'll have to wear it with the jacket closed because then I wouldn't want to show... I don't think I'd want it to be like a bralette top. Or I don't know, what do you think? It's a cool look because it's high-waisted. Yeah. I thought what you were going to do instead was add a necklace there to cover that gap. I could do as well. That's a good idea. Let's show that in a second. So... You've got to have the body confidence to do that. But this is a great piece because it's not crystal, it's chainmail, which means you are totally covered, so you can just wear nothing underneath it. Yeah, you are. The only reason I would um, add a necklace is if I wanted it to be lower, but I wore it low enough yeah. so that it was reaching my tummy more, then I'd have to fill in. So I'd fill in with my classic, if you sit in neutral, you can wear silver and gold together. So this necklace is the epitome of the metallics I suit because I can wear this soft gold, not too rose gold, and silver. Yeah, that covers that space perfectly. You never feel afraid to layer metallics with metallics. So then I get more safety here, wear it high-waisted. Mm -hmm. Where is the suit from, Trini? The suit is me and M, and I Ooh. have it with a narrow trouser that I wear every day with a trainer. Yeah. And I have it also with a longer trouser. And I'm thinking... I was going to wear the long trousers during the day, but what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put a false hem on yeah, and wear and have these long so that actually I don't want to have that look. Yeah. And the only way I can wear them right now is if I push them down here and then I don't want that look. You don't yeah. want that look? I <laughs> don't want that look, so I'm going to pull them up, wear them there and take down the hem. This is a way to wear one of those dresses and I think the art of wearing it is you want to have a bra underneath. I think it's nice if you're doing a high-waisted black trouser under, that the bra is nude. Yes. Otherwise, you've got black cut off, black again. Mm -hmm. I think it's the flow. You want to try and have that flow. You need a trouser that's quite slim. These are from Ted Baker. 
and they're just a slim satin trouser. But what I like about this look is it is a modern take of dress over trouser using texture and the crystals for the dress, which I wouldn't necessarily wear without a jacket. I feel comfortable to do this look um, with this nudeness going on. Yeah. But I wouldn't probably go without the jacket. It's like a great way to see your silhouette, but you're covering everything. Yeah. Exactly. It is for the woman who wants to show her silhouette more than her skin. But I quite like the idea of it with bobber boots as well. Yeah. There's another way I did this look. So let's have a look at that if you can find it, Jemima. This is a dress that I got from Fenwick. I've got a huge sale on it, Bond Street. It's from Ganny from it's their archive sale. It was like £75. It's very lovely, beautiful Italian widow, <laughs> you know, kind of look, you know, elegant little jet beading I always think of Victoriana anyway for me it's, it's quite aging in that drawn way so mm -hmm. I want to make it cool use some of the crystal tops and switch it up I could do a red lip with this but instead I'm just going to do wheezy all over so I look bronzed and well I have an overall depth of color to my skin this is like bronzer highlighter have come together to warm up my face and bring life to it where the black might have wanted to take it away. Voila. The sun has just come out, so it's changed all the light. But you can just get a sense now that it's put back a color that suits me near my face, which is this reflective crystal. And even though it's on a black netting, there's a lovely kaleidoscope of color. It's the closest I'll get to wearing color with black. It's taken this out of being the sort of sad widow at a funeral moment of how I associate this jet with the black and the damask fabric. And I put on some kind of chunky boots and a black sock mm. to make it work. I love that now. And it, these tops are so unbelievably flexible. Yeah. I love seeing that fabric against another fabric. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. So I think that hopefully gives you inspiration. And there are lots out there. Lots of different brands do these. Earlier in the year, I wore a very thin it was a sheer black cost jumper and I had this underneath and it just gave that jumper another dimension. See if I can put it on, actually, I want to show you if I've remembered. Just the last one because I was thinking about it. This is a very thin cost top and you can sort of see it through. Yes. But I think I'd done it with a black one. But it's just having that little bit of something there, pulling up your sleeves. Because if I was wearing this jumper normally, I could be here doing that, like that. I can still see some of the shimmer though. <laughs> I can still see some, which is nice, but I yeah. think we're going to have a little bit of it showing through. Yeah. It's like this playful thing that comes out and changes out your clothes for you and makes you feel happy whenever you're wearing it and allows you to bring a nighttime feel to a daytime. Yeah. If you're scared of doing full on sequence, this is a great intro. I can imagine you walking to a room with it all covered and then just kind of like pulling it up, Trini. <laughs> Hello. Next week, we're well into September, I'm going to be in the garage and I'm going to be clearing out and I'm going to be ruthlessly looking at what's never going to come back into my life. See you there.